Welcome back and happy 2017. I hope everyone enjoyed the holidays and is ready for a great spring semester. If you will recall, prior to the break, we sent a video highlighting some of the topics that will be important conversations in Georgetown ISD. Today's information is a follow-up to the newly created A through F accountability system and the unofficial rating being publicly released by TEA later this week. The A through F accountability system put in place by House Bill 2804 during the previous legislative session gives a rating of A through F to each campus and district based on five domains. Those domains are student performance, student progress, closing performance gaps, post-secondary readiness, and community and student engagement. The rating system is slated to begin in August of 2018, but TEA is releasing a preliminary what-if report by January 6 that gives districts an idea of what their scores would be if the system was already in place. With the arrival of the new accountability system, we have some concerns on how well it defines districts and schools. One of the beliefs we hold in Georgetown ISD is that all of our actions should be student-centered. We believe in educating the whole child and believe that a rating system needs to take all needs of the learner into account. There are so many different factors in determining these letter grades that no one can truly understand what the letter grade actually means or stands for. The formula for calculating these results is very complex and is difficult to understand. It's important to note that this ranking system is still being developed and that the legislature in this upcoming session could even change the metrics used to grade our schools. It's just as hard to explain why a campus received a B as to why a campus received a D. For example, most people understand that a score of 80 to 89 is a B, but in domain one of this new accountability system, a score of 51 will earn you a B. However, in domain four, a score of 96.8 is a B, but everyone understands what a B is, right? That's just a problem. The A through F system is confusing and it's based primarily on the STAR test. This is problematic as STAR only occurs once a year and is viewed as unreliable in accurately measuring student learning. Our community has created the standard embodied in our learner profile that we feel is a better assessment of student performance. Please don't let the noise from these what if ratings distract us from our vision of inspiring and empowering every learner to lead, grow and serve. We all, staff, parents, and community have high expectations for our students and our schools. And we look for ways to continuously improve because it's the right thing to do, not because it's mandated by the state. While we will continue to share our concerns about the new accountability system with the legislature, I have only one message I want to leave with you. We are accountable to our students, our parents, and our community. We want to be a learning organization that is built around a culture of learning, not a culture of standardized testing. We will continue to focus on our vision of being home of the most inspired students served by the most empowered leaders. We also focus on our mission of inspiring and empowering every learner to lead, grow, and serve. As an educator and as a father, the learner profile means more to me about my students and my children, not this accountability system. Have a great day.